Hello everybody, today is Tuesday the 6th of December and I have prepared the cake depends for this year. I think it's already the third time that you I'm taking you along. 20? Yeah, third time. And this time, for the first time, I made fringe for the Gritty Bands <laughs> and it looks so funny. So here's the Gritty Bands with, <laughs> with fringe and hair. <laughs> and I find it very funny. And I also made a little something like a button, which is for me. And now I let that um, proof for an hour, maybe not for an hour, just a bit. So it goes bigger or maybe until the other one's done. And then I switch the thingies. It's five to 12 and we we have it at three at home and we get, we're gonna get picked up by my dad, or our dad at Tanya's at a quarter to three. So I need to leave at half past two or something. Yeah, so I just need to make, get it done. <laughs> and other than that, I thought about, uh, first I wanted to, to film it, but then I, I needed to do it right away in the morning. So, are you sick too now? <laughs> I just turned around a little bit. Um, and then I couldn't bother. Also made some cookies because mom gave me a cookie dough. It's amaretto, which you normally do as those uh, round things. But I used my new cookie cutters. I made the bears and the, the snail. And they, they smell lovely. So I'm taking those home too. Uh, my mom is, is very cute. Also, she does very well with her cell phone. I'm so proud of her. She's, she, she can do it. She can text. She can send messages. <laughs> it's amazing. And she bought that dough because she wanted to come here and, and bake cookies together, which is so cute. And uh, then she didn't. She hasn't been that fit the last three weeks. Very bad. She went for a walk with dad. That might be oversharing. <laughs> and suddenly she got the, she got so dizzy. Um, it's like when you're very drunk, uh, when everything turns around. She has that sometimes when she's very weak and uh, that it wasn't so good the last three weeks. I have watched a lot about the do Docker the Dozen and uh, when you overshare stuff, which is not information for you to, to dish out. But um, I think with mom, that's okay. She's uh, similar to me. I don't care either. I'm glad when people talk about me or the things that I have, um, the, the struggles, because I'm, I'm very open about that. And it's also, yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing to talk about it. Um, and then I don't have to talk about it all the time. But there's some who like it and others who really don't like that. So I need to pay attention to that. But mom is one of those. She doesn't mind when when the word gets spread a bit. Yeah, so uh, what else? And I've switched gears for the moment. I am very different acoustics in here. I'm working on the diamond painting. I started after I finished the last one, beginning of this year. But when I sit down and do that, my, my cheeks swell up again. I don't like that. So I do that while standing, but now my legs are a bit swollen, so. With that horsey, it's gonna be beautiful. And I just did that part, and yesterday I worked on the leg. Now on the middle thingy, uh, which is easy because it's not many colors. This was not easy. Nearly all the colors I had to pull out, and it feels like doing a puzzle, just easier because you find the pieces quickly, but you have to you have to get them out. So working on that. Yeah. So today is already Thursday, the 8th of December, and we did have a lovely time at home. Um, at some point we all played the dice together and it was so fun. Uh, we giggled a lot <laughs> and uh, it was very good. making tortellini and I did some kitchen finally again and now I got space to cook so they're about to be ready to, to be poured into the
colander or something and here i made a, a carrot salad and normally i used to uh, used to just put oil and vinegar over it but i also like it with french dressing which i did with that and onions and lemon pepper and i forgot what i wanted uh, a fork and that is that i had to put the diamond painting aside because I think on that day I showed it to you, Mutsina vomited all over it. So I had to clean all the bags and and the painting itself. It was covered mostly with the plastic, uh, uh, for sure, of where the sticky part is. And yeah, now that's gone. And I'm working on puzzles again. I'm very tired. I put out the garbage. Those are our garbage bag marks, uh, like a stamp. We have to put that on a garbage bag and when we put that outside. And it's also laundry day. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, welcome back. <laughs> and here are my tortellini with some uh, grated cheese and the carrot salad. And I need to figure out what I want to watch. I have no idea. <laughs> Today is Friday the 9th of December and it is snowing and I was very surprised by that. You see the snowflakes? And I checked the weather uh, app and there's going to be more snow and I'm just going to work on a puzzle. I have a huge puzzle and I don't know if I can do it but I'm working on it. <coughs> it has 40,000 pieces. <laughs> But it's, it is divided into 10 puzzles. Uh, each has 10,000, 10, 4,000 pieces. So it is a Disney puzzle. Uh, there is the puzzle. It's huge. And it has those Disney sujets. And I'm working on this one right now. It's a 40,000 piece Ravensburger. <laughs> Ravensburg puzzle and I am covering it up with a, a tablecloth because I don't want cat vomit on it and so far I'm working on that film strip around it this is what I have I have spent a lot of time sorting the pieces first by shape and then by color yeah now I'm working on that and I thought it might be fun to watch a Disney movie whilst doing the puzzle. But actually watching a movie and puzzling, that does not work because you need to look at something else. Uh, so I could also listen to Harry Potter or I have the Half a Holiday, which is about horsies. I could do that. I don't know. And I could open this. Curtain, I always have it. Have to have it closed because of my eyes. I got a headache, and my eyes get so so. Oh, ow! <laughs> oh, there, snowflakes. <laughs> and uh, then I would have to puzzle with my sunglasses. It is nice. Yeah. I'll do that. Other than that, nothing, nothing thrilling happening over here. Yeah. I put that puzzle onto um, Facebook Marketplace and there is somebody interested in that puzzle and she wanted to come over yesterday morning so I set my alarm clock, got up in the morning and then I saw a text uh, actually already later than she said she would come and she said she cannot come because her husband is sick or he cannot come because he's got sick and sicker so I don't know <laughs> if it gets picked up. I was already very surprised that that the exchange and picking up seemed to be so easy. Because usually with a Facebook marketplace, uh, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, I'm coming, but I'm not coming. And then oh, I'm taking it, but not taking it. So it's normally, that's what's happening, what happens. So I'll try to find what. Or maybe I'll watch something. I have something on in the background. I don't know. <laughs> Today is Saturday the 10th of December and my parents have been here this morning. It was lovely. I have many weird spots. 
dry skin scabs. <laughs> and it's still snowing. Or again. Uh, it's just not, it's not that snow that just stays put. Because it's not thick enough. And now I put my heaters back down. I like it a bit cooler in my flat, but my parents are cold quickly, so I I put them up before they come around. And now I can put them back down. And I'm trying to organize to go on with my puzzle. And I actually didn't want to tell anybody about my puzzle until I'm a, I have at least one done. Because I'm not sure if I can do it. And it's a bit, it's a luxurious puzzle. And I don't want to just show it off like that. But I cannot keep secrets. I'm very bad. <laughs> Always keep, uh, no, I'm never keeping secrets. Not entirely. But. Uh, so, I'm trying to prepare this table. Uh, just my normal table. I have wrapping paper. There was a three-pack in Migro. And I did not see that this one has aliens on it. And I don't like that. So I'm using this paper on my table but now I'm missing about this much there so either make another row with that or take other paper I don't know yet ah, or, or I cut off some strips and go just maybe that's better uh, yeah I stuck it on uh, with tape so once it's finished there I can glue it and then I want to turn it around somehow and tape it from the back. I want it to be very, very stable. And this puzzle glue thing, it doesn't get that stable, really. So now I'm trying to transfer it over here. And also I need to make another strip there. Ah, and I have a very cool advent calendar from Marianne Design. And it has this Stanze, uh, metal die. And I just, I was allowed to show my parents how it's done. And this comes out of it. <laughs> this is so cute. And here's Tina's presents. <laughs> so I didn't think it would stay on the paper. It's very cute. It's a very cool um, advent calendar. And I want to try and use uh, the stuff once, once it's all out. And I'm always putting it back in the thingy. And I wait till shortly after midnight when I open the thingy for the day. And now you're witnessing how hard certain things are sometimes. Quite often, but it just doesn't want to. <sighs> okay, so now this is all prepared. The puzzle will be about exactly the, the width of the table and a bit less than maybe, maybe like there. And the that's not the best thing because then the pizza, pizzas are very likely to fall down. And I also always need to protect that from cat vomit, which is something very annoying. Uh, but you have to do it when you have cats. Uh, that's what I do here too with that thing. So this, this is the rund. The edge, I had to take it apart so it goes there and then there and then goes there. And I tried to put that in the other room. It was quite easy. I used this thingy. It's a table setting thingy, which I used to make cookies. Used the knife on it. That's why it's so scratched. Um, that's kind of cool. And here I have some miscellaneous pieces. Here I have the colored ones. And here are all the other ones. Those are all the white ones with the different shapes and then all the turquoise sparkly ones. Other, I, I made a bag with each size um, shape. Tur turquoise light with sparkles, then like darker with a lot of sparkles, those things. And just the dark ones. And I had the colors and I think that was it. In the colors were all the things from the movie strip. And also all the, how oh, did I say the white one? White one for the dress. That was the other one and the colored ones for all the other figures and things that happen 
and the rest is plain white for the dress. Pretty much all the same turquoise with a little sparkle, darker with sparkle and just dark. <laughs> so I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> and I put them all in those bags. And it is a lot of those bags, but I'm using the same bags for 10 puzzles. So they will get quite used for things. And what do I have here? Nothing. I copied this so I have it a bit easier with just a smaller picture. Here are edge pieces. <sighs> Those are different shaped ones. Those are the dress, which I might want to do next too. So I have a bag for the weird piece shapes, the two, two corner ones, the one corner ones, normal shapes, and the three knob ones. So one of each sort with that color and I'm looking for here are the rest of my edges what do I do next and under it ah those are the, the normal piece shapes with all the all the colors and things and the other of those let's hope it doesn't fall <laughs> oh, the big biggest fear is to lose a part the others other shapes are in here uh, so I'm taking those over there too. And then I hope I can handle it better. Oh, they're so a little bit. So I think it's key to sort a lot. Yeah, so. Anyway, sorting and organizing, I think it's key to, or at least for me, do a puzzle this big. Next, I want to pick some color and gather them from all the different piece shaped things and then try to assemble those. And th those are basically all the parts for the, the figures for the inside and the rest is mainly one color. Very daunting. And I always start a puzzle with sorting by the piece shape. That's just how I start and uh, I do a lot when I look for a piece I look for the color but also for how how it is if, if it's a bigger part or smaller or if it looks weird or one corner two corner yeah yeah and I should not have watched something I've watched <laughs> from somebody who's very quick was doing that she would do a 4,000 piece puzzle in 15 hours so she did the whole thing in 150 hours which if you do it eight hours a day I think that's about two weeks unless I'm wrong about that or 20 days, eight hours a day, 10 days, 80 hours, 20 days, 160, yeah, three weeks. Okay, she would do the whole thingy in three weeks. I'm planning on three weeks for one puzzle. <laughs> so I'm ready. I have some big bang theory on there. I have a beautiful view out my window and a puzzle. This is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> I have all the kind of yellow shapes, yellow greenish, and the different shape sizes. Shape sizes. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so. so, this is about half an hour later. It was quite fun to do that. I have the door. I got this part, then that, and that, and the horse's stuff. So this is the horse's stuff with the one thingy and the one on top and Cinderella's hair. And now I sorted out some more gray pieces with things like stripes. I think they go to the carriage and those because that starts here already with those wheel things. And then I want to do the horse and the carriage somehow. So first I picked a very strong color and now I'm into grays. But that's only the one shape, so I'm, I have to go through those two. I'm very tired, so I make a cup of coffee. Hi, Mosey. Kind of forced to take a break. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so just lay on it here and there and push both parts and nearly everything broke apart. Hi. <coughs> 
I just saw that I have a lot of potatoes which have sprouted already a bit. So I decided to make a mashed potatoes. And I also have a cauliflower mess in the kitchen. And which has nothing to do with the cooking. It's just, <laughs> just that I need that thingy in it to wash it. Um, and I would like to make an, a white sauce somehow. And I might film a little something. As a normally, I do that differently. <laughs> it's because I'm filming it, it gets a bit complicated and dangerous. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm just taking off those leaves and the rest I, I just put in my pot, which seems too small. And I don't like working in a mess, but you see, that's how what I have to deal with. Not well organized. Comes with some things. And that does not fit at all. Oh, okay, found another pot. This one. And I changed my mind. I'm going to make a Thai curry sauce. Also, I have. Also, is a is a German word. It means I don't know what. It's not also. It's spelled the same though. Uh, I'm just saying that because I say also a lot. Also, I am making a Thai curry sauce because I still have coconut milk and Thai curry paste. And I just throw that together in a thingy. And I add some bouillon. Just add some, some bouillon. I'm not, I'm really not a good cook. I mean, it's eatable and everything, but I really cook with just shutter to see how I cook. And I don't measure, I fill it up with water. And now I use this pan just to put in coconut milk and the thingy. And now I need to rearrange my stuff. Uh, I got, once it was Aktion on sale, I got three of those. Oh, they seem packed. So, it's all in all, it's a liter. Maybe it's a bit a lot. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a picture. 
um, expiring date is uh, October 23. So I'm making dates, I think. And I just heat that up and add some curry paste, and that's it. Thai kitchen red curry paste. So. It's quite simple. <laughs> so I like it. Okay. Actually, one might be enough. I do not process it too well. <laughs> I'm not so good with food in general, but I eat it anyway. And I add eight more veggies this week. Veggies. I cannot say the V. I don't know why. V and W are hard for German speakers. And that's just that's just how it is. The German speakers get so mocked for their accent. I try very hard not to have one. Even though Swiss German sounds different. The accent. I was I was watching a lot of um, Craig Ferguson. And he did he did that German accent all the time and I don't like that. So. It's pretty lame what I'm doing here. <laughs> I get a spoon. I don't know, maybe two spoons. So, and the sauce is done. Some more vegetables. So I've got my boiling pots. This year, <laughs> overcooking. I just don't have it under control. Well, I grew up cooking with gas, and that's so much easier because the cauliflower I have on, on one, so on the lowest thing, and the plate is just still so hot that it still boils a lot. And you should always cook with the lids because it uses less energy. It's very hard to find the right temperature where you can just leave it. And I'm aware one shouldn't boil it that hot um, vegetables because that gets rid of all the vitamins. But I don't care uh, because I cannot do better. And this, this pot is quite funny. It has a hole there. And then the stuff comes out the hole. <laughs> wow. I this with the steam. So I take a little nutmeg. That's quite a lot of potatoes. And pepper. We uh, I, I like cooking with pepper. Also something very Swiss. And I'll put some butter. Maybe maybe I add all of it. Because it's a lot of um, as I just said, a lot of potatoes. And I'm sorry for the anger that comes through sometimes. But I'm very angry. <laughs> uh, and milk. And I just do that. We call it Hanglenk mol P, which is wrist times P. P, the number, that mathematical number. It's just when you cook with no recipe. That's what we call that. And my potato stumper. And then I stump them. And as usual, I take the wrong potatoes for that because I only buy the one kind, the, the hard boiling ones, which stay, which don't get mealy, don't get flowery. <laughs> and you can use those for, um, fries too but it works for that too a real pro or i don't know they would tell you no don't do that with those potatoes i don't care <laughs> so 
stuff. I might have put too much milk. Okay. And I like doing it that way because it doesn't make noise. Unlike the mixer. I guess to add a bit more. Well, also, I only I slept at five in the morning, so it also be why I'm a bit angry. And it feels like the whole universe is against me. Also don't taste it, I just cook and whatever comes out I eat. I'm somehow I'm very unpicky, but with certain things like chocolate or cake, I'm super picky. And now I take the plate. <laughs> gonna make me very tired Oop. <laughs> just just put them there yeah well it's on the outside <laughs> now the sauce very runny Voila. And dish out some kolcha. Heis. Heis means hot. The lid is very hot. Here's some. Ugh. And good to meet the man. That's why I don't cook that often. I get so angry. And here's the mess. So, overspilled stuff and uh, voila. And I just covered up the puzzle a bit so it doesn't get too dirty. And now I want to look for something on, on YouTube, I think. I don't want to watch more 3D Bang Theory. Okay. So I was lucky and there was a Bailey J vlog and this is what I left over. It's not that much. Should have stopped sooner and here's Tilly. Now I'm very sweaty. Mm -hmm. And even though it was spicy and all right, it, something was missing. And I think it was a little meat or something. So here's no more light in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So before I finish this vlog, I just found a video or a few videos from my sister came over. Oh, sorry, the thing is still on. <laughs> the, my oldest sister, Tanya, came over on Saturday and she brought maroons to bake. Or they're also called conkers. And we cooked those in the oven here, baked them. And I just quickly showed you the things. And those are typical to eat here in, in winter. And I had some and somehow I cannot eat them anymore. It just went to my gastrointestines thingies. It really hurts, so I'm not eating those again, but I'll still show you the footage I have. Ich Ja, ja. Aber ich habe es nicht 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 Ich habe es
Und das ist jetzt einem gar nicht so gut geht. Die geht gut. Ich habe Kräuschen gemacht. Ach oh, so geil. Super. Wie geil. Nice. <laughs> and with that, I thank you very much for watching and hope you have a good weekend and see you in the next one.